In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take your audio recordings from your voice memos app here on your iPhone or iPad and send them to GarageBand so you can use them in your projects. Let's go. The Voice Memos app is a voice recorder app installed on all of your iPhone and iPad devices. And it's actually a super capable voice recorder, but even better, if you record some sounds right here on the Voice Memos app, you can also export them and then use them in your GarageBand projects. Let's show you how to do that right now. Now I've already got some recordings here, but if you don't, all you need to do is hit this big red record button and record in any source you like, and then you can use this sound. Let's try it now. Boo. There you go, a very basic sound, but this will be good to demonstrate with. So if we scroll back to the start here and we hit the play button on this one. Boo. There's my little bass sound that we've got going on there. Now we can use this as is, but what I like to do is a couple of things, is to edit it by going to the top right and clicking on this one or tapping on that one. We can grab these crop handles and I like to move these to the start of where I'm making the sound. And I'll put it just to here and if we hit play. Boo. It's like that. We could even move it all the way across to here to right at the start of the sound like this. And then go back to the start and hit play. Boo. In fact, we'll do that because when we use it in the sampler, we'll need it to start straight away. And I'll show you why in a moment. So what I'm going to do is hit the trim button here in the bottom left corner. I'm then going to tap in the text here and I'm going to change the name of this. So for this one, I'm going to just call this, not surprisingly, Bow. Bow. There we go, and we'll hit save on that one. And then when we're done, we just hit the done button here in the bottom right corner. Voice memos can do a whole lot more, and we will cover that in a future video. But for now, let's show you how we take this recording and send it to GarageBand. So from this main screen, we select whichever recording we want. So we're gonna go with bow, and we're gonna hit this button here. This is our share button. This is gonna bring up our share sheet just like this. And from here, the easiest way to do this here in iOS is to scroll down on this list and go to save to file which is this one here. Tap on that one and it will bring up your file location. Now you can see I've already done this before, but the easiest place to put this for GarageBand is on my iPad. And then if you scroll down to GarageBand here and under GarageBand, you'll find GarageBand file transfer. If you hit save on that one, that's gonna put it straight into the GarageBand location where you can import files directly into your projects. Let's now jump over to GarageBand and show you how we bring it in. So we're going to swipe up here and tap tap on GarageBand to open up our GarageBand. Now I've got a fresh blank project here. I'm going to go to the audio recorder here and just have a nice fresh spot to put this in. Now up in the top right here, you'll see that we've got this loop icon that says, hey, you've imported some sounds here. You might want to use those. So we'll tap on that one. And what we can see is we've got a bunch of other sounds that we've imported in here, but we've also got this one. Now, if we tap on this one, Boo. it's going to give us a preview Boo. of that a bunch of times. If we want to bring it in, we tap and hold and drag it into our project like that. And there you can see, Boo. it's right there. If we want to use this over and over again, for whatever reason, we can also copy it and then paste it. And if we put it at the start of every bar like this, it can become a bit of an interesting kind of uh, bass sound for this project. Boo. 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 Now, that's okay, but that's just one sound, right? That's not really gonna be cool. What if you wanna bring in an idea that you're working on over in the music memos or in the voice memos app, and you wanna bring that into GarageBand? How do we do that? Exactly the same way. So we'll once again swipe up and we'll swap back over to our voice memos app here. Now this time we'll grab this acoustic riff. So here you can see we've got a much longer wave file. And if we hit play on this one, it sounds like this. So what if we want to bring this over and then maybe play around with it with some drums or something like that? Well, we can do the same thing. We just hit the share button up here in the top left and we once again go to save to files and we once again go to that GarageBand file transfer and hit save. It's then as simple as, and we can do it straight away, sliding over to here and then look, boom, it says number one over there. We can tap on this one and here's this acoustic riff. Very cool. Now we can just drag this one in to our project. And look, it's probably not going to go well with our bowls, but we can uh, we can have both of these in here together. Bow. Bow. Now you're probably ahead of me here that you can see a problem with this. In fact, let's bring this out here and let's just mute out 
that one there. The problem here is that it's not really going to match any tempo or anything. So this is the problem with voice memos. And there's no real way around this. You can try and dial in your tempo by coming up here and getting your tempo about right. So tapping it in. But if you're just playing something freestyle, it's probably not going to work so well. But it is still cool to be able to bring your ideas in here. And you can also notice that if we wanted to, we can trim this, even though it's already in here, we can trim the start of that one and then bring this to the start so that when we hit play... So it's not going to be on the grid, but it's still pretty cool. And if we wanted to just play around with, say, some drum ideas, we can hit the plus button here, come over to our drums, and uh, we can just start playing some in. So if we go to our acoustic drums here and we hit record on this one, let's just see if we can get a bit of a build. Was that the worst drumming performance you've ever heard? Yes, because I was way off the beat. But you get the gist here. You can bring it in and start playing around with it. So it's great for acoustic guitar ideas or singing ideas or something that you want to bring in. You can bring it in here too. But what about this first one that we did? What if we wanted to use a sample, not as an actual audio file, but as a sample within our sampler in GarageBand? Well, we can do that too. Let's show you that one. This time, instead of importing by tapping in the top here, we're going to hit the plus button down in the bottom left here. And this time we're going to go to the key keyboard but we're going to hit on the sampler instrument and this is going to open up it's going to say yep we've got an audio interface installed that is fine and at the by default here it's got this bark sample in <laughs> which we could use there but what if we want a different sample well no problem we can actually tap up the top here where it's got bark and we can import our own sample yes we can hit the import button here and look at this it takes us to that exact same spot what if we want this bowl sample Ew. Well, we can use this. Boom. All we need to do is tap in this button over here, and that's going to load up this sample directly into our sampler. And now, guess what? We have that sample that we can use here in our uh, in our sampler, and the sampler is pretty cool. I've got another video all about the sampler that you can check out. It has been updated recently. You can change again the start here. So if we wanted it to cut off right at the start like that. Bye, bye, bye. We can adjust that, and you can adjust the start and the finish. We can reverse our sample, so... And you can even loop a sample, so you get it over and over again. Oh, that's going to haunt all of our dreams, isn't it? So, very cool there. And then if we wanted to record that in, we can just hit the record button here, and we can actually play it. I forgot to mute the original one, but you can you can see what we can do there. You can play this if we just solo this. You can actually play in your different samples. So imagine that that's your own custom drum kit or your own sounds from your own guitar and you wanted to sample in your own power chords from your guitar. The sky is really the limit with this stuff. So the Voice Memos app is better than just capturing the occasional little note and reminder. You can actually use it to record in your own sounds, your found sounds, your own ideas and things, and then bring them into GarageBand with a few simple steps.